Hey everybody, how's it going? So I got a quick update for you. Uh, I know it's been a little while and I wanted to get this out soon before I go on uh, vacation for Thanksgiving. So an update to my printer box is that I now have it finished uh, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, there's probably a little bit more that I could do to it, but I think for now I'm pretty well satisfied. So what do I have? I got this guy now. So this has become actually really nice. It freed up a lot of my desk. I now have room for plenty of stuff. Sorry about a little bit of a mess going on here. Uh, but yes, this thing works. How well does it work? Well, we're gonna do a couple tests here real quick, but I'm gonna go over some of the features that are on this thing. Uh, and you can decide for yourself if this is a project that maybe you'd like to uh, do for your printer as well. So, we have back flap hinges which allow the lid to flip 270 degrees and lay completely flat on the top here. Now of course I can't do that, I have my uh, wall mounted camera boom here uh, that gets in the way, but uh, this is just temporary, I'm kind of working on a new space for it. There are side latches right here, which when the lid is shut, they close and they do have a place that you can put a lock. Uh, so maybe you don't want your kid getting into it or something like that. Uh, if this were made much more sturdy, then you could probably lock this as a security measure. Um, I designed and printed uh, a couple little spacers because as you can probably tell, my door is ever so slightly off. It sits to this side uh, with a little bit of pressure and I'm not entirely sure why that is. Uh, but this was just a quick, simple way to fix it. I got one on each side. So whatever, it works. <laughs> um, all of the edges around the door have been routed with uh, a Dremel. So they're all smooth. There's no sharp edges anywhere. It's safe. There's a single layer of I believe that's eighth inch, or th uh, yeah, eighth inch uh, Lexan sheet as a viewing window, which allows you almost perfect view of the entire printer all the way to the top. And yes, low enough that you can see everything underneath the extruder at all times. Uh, so, what we're gonna do is we're gonna open this up. Yeah. Quit getting caught up there. Now see, that's what I'm saying. I don't have enough room to show you that it sits all the way back, but it will sit completely flat. Inside of the door and all of the inside has a single layer of tool drawer or kitchen drawer uh, rubber liner. Uh, behind, or between the Lexan and the face of the, the back face of the door here uh, is another strip of this drawer liner that surrounds the entire Lexan piece. Uh, I specifically did not make that part of this because I may add a second layer at some point or I can remove this or whatever I need to do with it and not have to worry about taking off the Lexan sheet separately. Uh, all these are 5 8 inch screws separated at 2 inch intervals obviously until where they meet so everything is completely sealed. There is foam sealant half inch wide uh, I want to say uh, eighth inch or three sixteenths inch, inch thick uh, door sealant foam around all four uh, edges here for the door. That completely seals everything. This thing is 100% airtight with the exception of a seven eighths inch hole in the back for the cabling. Uh, including the top and the door all come off as one piece through all the screws on the top and between the top and all of the sides is more of that drawer liner. So I'm adding vibration dampening to everything and it really pays off. So inside I've added some little square cutout pieces of that drawer liner here underneath uh, the rubber feet to add even more dampening including the layer that's on the bottom. The Y-axis motor 
both z-axis motors and the x-axis motor have stepper damper uh, stepper dampers on them the extruder motor does not I may or may not get to that at a later date um, again that's really not something I'm all too worried about doing but let's show you a little bit more here because the inside gets pretty fun so here I have something pretty nifty and with this you get a better light in here this is my way of keeping the spool inside the box it can stay heated um, this is the constant temperature and might even help with humidity I'm not entirely sure I haven't done the test on that yet but uh, this is an easy quick change uh, mount here and I found the original design on Thingiverse, but I have sent, it was a screw-on version where it's screwed on an end cap. I've completely redesigned it and it is now a square slip-on, which literally just drops on, can't rotate and come off. So literally, you pull it off like that. It's held on with four screws. This is made with two outer perimeters uh, I think it was like two bottom and two top layer uh, and 25% infill which is probably a little bit overkill but I wanted to do this just once so it works. Uh, this tolerance between the outer, uh, outer perimeter of the mount to the inside of the spool here for inland PLA or inland spools at least in this case um, is extremely tight and it's tight on purpose. Yeah, here I'll even bring it out to this side so you can see it. Very, very tight, doesn't allow much room to move around, including this direction. Well, it's not showing you, but, uh, and that's maybe a half millimeter or so away from that. And then you just drop it on. Now, if this printer box were to take another, say, if I had a dual extruder, I could mount a second roll of filament right here. So they can both stay inside. I can use one. I can use both. It doesn't matter. Uh, right here, we have a mount that is actually meant to hold filament. So I'm going to bring a little bit of excess here. Literally just press it in and it holds it. So you can clip it here or you can clip it down there, it doesn't matter. And it'll keep your spool from unraveling until you're ready to use it again. And you just pull it off and you're ready to go, just like that. Another great feature that I designed was a small lift. And that sits right down here uh, between the mount and the clip for the uh, extruder. And what that does is that raised the input side here so I could mount another one of these on the threaded end on this side and it would no longer hit this collar, which was a problem. I couldn't mount it before. That allowed me to take a length of PTFE tubing, uh, same as what's used here, and stick that on here. And this way, I curved it out a little bit the filament is always coming into the PTFE tube, which is essentially the inlet now, at a much nicer angle rather than coming around a hard corner, getting caught, especially when it starts getting up here and not rubbing into the side. That also keeps my filament filter and oiler from getting caught on the Z-axis worm gear and grinding away. It's actually popped off a few times, which is why it kind of looks funky it doesn't seem to stay shut anymore I think I need to reprint one but that is what that's for extremely easy uh, as for my cabling now well, yeah it just sits in the back there's nothing super special about that my tolerance on this side right here is I'm gonna say an eighth of an inch there's almost nothing, and that was semi-intentional. I can move it, it doesn't matter. I mean, this isn't really set on anything other than some loose pieces, so I can lift it up and move it. My tolerance up top, quarter inch. So I still have room that I can work with if I need to, 
Um, this will take a slightly larger printer, but I wouldn't go much above 23 inches. That's from the bottom here to the top up here. And as you can tell, I'm just shy of that. Plus I've got it raised up a little bit already, plus an amount that I've got there. Uh, half inch total, maybe, 5 eighths inch, somewhere around in there. Uh, so yes, you could mount a second spool here as well, and that would be useful for a dual extruder. Everything stays in here. Uh, at some point I may consider cutting out a little viewing window right in here to be used so that you can see your filament directly and see whether you're running out. Because currently you have to look from the side or open the lid, and you may not want to do that, especially if it's with ABS. So, now the real question is, how does it sound uh, with the difference between the door open and the door closed? Well, I think it's time to settle that. And what we're going to do is I have an SPL meter on my uh, phone. So we're going to check this uh, in both directions. So let's start off with the printer box open and the power box is actually on the outside of all of this. So let's see what we've got running with right now. All right, so I'm going to say we got about a 57 uh, decibel average. That's not too bad. I don't know why it's saying average is 63. It's because I was talking. But a 57 decibel average. All right, let's go ahead and shut the door, and we will measure again. Go ahead and latch it shut. And now... Now let's see what we've got. So about a 54 decibel average. So it drops three decibels, which isn't terrible, but I still think it could be improved with another layer of drawer liner on all the sides and maybe a little bit of extra dampening uh, under the feet a little bit more. I could add a second uh, outer piece of Lexan as the door, but it wouldn't be as clean. So I think I'm gonna pass on that. But this is a much more acceptable setup uh, for when I'm trying to print overnight. Um, I don't have to listen to it. It's not thoroughly obnoxious. Uh, and it works, <laughs> which is the big thing. It just works. I was a little bit surprised. I didn't think it was going to work quite that well. But uh, yes. So hope you guys like this. Um, I'll have some more videos here coming out pretty soon. I am going to be working on a... Uh, Windows 10 performance tweak video number two. Um, I'm hoping to record that, that sometime this week. If not, I will get to it next week. But uh, yeah, you guys can check me out on Twitch. And I'm also starting up a Mixer page, which is Microsoft's version of Twitch. That is Dr. Ninja. Unfortunately, Midnight Ninja was taken. Hope to see you guys there. My battery on my camera is about to die. Uh, like, share, and subscribe, guys. We are almost at 1,000, only 12 away. I'll see you guys there. Have a good one, guys. Have a good night.